Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you how you can locally change the colors of some things in your photo using a new tool that just came out in June 2020 in Lightroom Classic. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So, Lightroom just released a new update. There's many features, uh, you know, with stability and bugs fix, but there's one that really I think is amazing. I just saw this release and I was blown away by this one feature. Let me give you an example where you can change locally colors. So this is a photo that I shot in Avignon a while back. That's the raw file on retouch. I'm gonna open up the shadows. I'm gonna do my blacks. Beautiful uh, poppy fields. I love shooting poppy fields. I think they're amazing. Uh, I'm gonna add some contrast. Just a really busy retouching. Maybe just add a bit of magenta. Uh, I think on the sky itself, let me see here. I want to go to um, add a little gradient here on the sky, make the top of the sky a bit darker and maybe a bit of clarity in the sky so it's more diffuse. I like diffuse sky. I think the white balance is too blue so I'm going to add a bit of warm and a bit of uh, magenta. Okay, so I really like this. This is not what I wanted to show you. Now, Puppies are usually red in France, they are orange in California. I had this idea, what if we did a mix up of different puppies from all over the world in this photo. If you stand till the end, I'm gonna show you a little trick that's gonna make this 10 times faster on your photography. So stand till the end. Step number one, take the red gel filter tool. I'm gonna to make a circle around these flowers here. I'm going to invert it. So whatever I'm gonna be doing is gonna be inside that circle, not outside, but inside. Okay, so here I am. And so whatever I'm doing now is gonna be inside. So check this out. There's a new uh, thing called U where you can change the type of colors within your local adjustment. That's new and look at, look at this. So for example, if I wanted to make uh, this like very orange, like in, uh, for example, like this in California, I could do that. Well, actually, let me, let me go extreme so you can see. I'm gonna make this, for example, blue. But you can see the, the grass is becoming also magenta. It doesn't, you know, it's not really realistic. What if there was a way that we could use this only on the flowers and not on the grass? Thank you very much for asking. And here it is. So first, before I show you this, you have this use fine adjustment here. All it does is basically you pick your color here first. Once you're in the ballpark of the colors that you like, you click on use fine adjustment. And now you're gonna move this very slow. Like you can't move this fast. You just fine tune it, okay? So I repeat first, you pick the colors that you want, okay? And then you fine tune it using use fine adjustment because it's so, you know, that slider goes really fast. Okay, now how to get rid of, how to get the grass still be, the trick is I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to use the range mask color. I usually use luminance if you've been following my channel. I'm gonna use color this time. And I'm gonna take the picker here and I'm basically going to tell him, look, I want this effect only on the colors I'm going to pick. So I'm going to click and drag a little circle on this flower. And if it doesn't work, it means I didn't do a good uh, selection of colors. So I can go here and I'm going to take, for example, this color. I only want this color. Yeah, that's what it is. And you see now, I mean, this is extreme. I don't want them to be blue. Let me zoom back out here a little bit. But you see the, now the flowers are only blue wherever there is a circle. And that's crazy. So you click here to stop using the, this, and now wherever I move this, it's gonna turn my flowers blue, which is really cool. And only the flower, only the red from the flower. Oh, two things really quick before I show you the incredible ways to speed this up really fast. One, if you like this kind of videos, just click the like button. It really makes a difference for me. And two, I got an amazing gift for you. Below, down below, you have my free toolbox. This free toolbox is gonna to give you some of my best presets for free, all my black and white presets, all my best Instagram presets for free. You're also gonna get some skies that you can put into your photos, some textures you can put in your portraits, and Photoshop brush. But what's amazing about it, it comes with 13 videos showing you how to use everything. It's completely free, click the link below. Okay, so now, how can we speed up this so that uh, it goes much faster? So let's say, I kind of like this blue, I mean, this is like over killing it, so I'm gonna take like something a bit more natural, something like this, and then I, here is the trick, check this out. You right click, duplicate. Now I'm gonna put this here, for example. And now I can just change the colors and I can go like the California pop puppies. And I can even add some exposure on this one if I want to. Okay, and then I can click, duplicate. And now I can take this circle here in the middle 
and go for another color, like, uh, I don't know, something like a green poppy or something. Not so green, so I can lower the exposure, I can lower the saturation, so it's more realistic. Uh, okay, I can use fine tune adjustment to uh, do this. Well, I think green is a little too much. Uh, let's sing something more realistic, like something like this, like more, maybe more in the blues. And voila, and check this out. So with, that, with using four circle, I totally changed the colors exactly how I wonder of the flowers. I mean, the possibilities are huge. By the way, guys, I prepared for you a little playlist of all my best landscape tutorials, totally free. Click here to watch it now. Thank you very much. I will see you in a different video.